sure the weather is a big factor. If you know any new bakers out there don't have that idea, of course we all know summer months are slower months. Um, but you know we get to the point to where it starts getting a little bit cooler. I monitor if it's going to rain, when it's going to rain, humidity level. Uh, if it's going to rain, I know we're going to be busier. It's just my, my charts over the last 25 to 26 years have told me if it's going to rain, if it's going to get cooler, we get busier. Especially if it coincides with the middle and beginning of the month because people have more money in their pockets. And, and then I monitor all the big businesses in this area when they pay and I coincide that with the, the weather forecast. So then I'm kind of helping them spend their money because I will know that I can populate my, my cases with more product. Otherwise, I mean, I have no idea if, you know, five people or 35 people or 75 people are going to come in tomorrow morning. So I kind of have to go with my, my charts in knowing weather forecast, especially the snow. If it's going to be cold and snowy, during blizzards, we're busier than we are on regular sunny, hot days. So yeah, I mean, you know, the weather plays such a factor and that is such an instrumental part of production times for us. In order to get an idea of what that was, it took about three or four years. And right, you know, because it's, it's, it's a hit and miss situation right in the beginning of your business, because you really don't know. I mean, like I said, being a baker, I could pretty much do anything. You can read a recipe and bake something, but being a businessman and a, and a cognizant biz businessman is, is important because you have to be aware of what's going on around you and what's making that happen. So you have to open up and expand your ideas. So that's what made me think, well, the weather, or when people get paid, you have to kind of start thinking outside the box rather than just being a baker.